In this video, you'll learn to conduct an actual site survey, a critical step to plan out the best locations for placing your transceiver module. So, let's get started. First, you need two belt packs and one transceiver module to conduct this survey. Next, prepare your transceiver for the survey by holding down the power button on the transceiver and then applying power. Secure power, and when you see the beating amber light, let go of the power button and confirm that the light continues to blink because the belt pack pairing process will time out in two minutes. Be sure to complete the belt pack pairing with transceiver process within that time. Otherwise, you'll have to restart the process. Now, turn on the belt pack. Hold down the menu button. On the display, scroll through the menu with either the left or right rotary, highlight System Connect, and press D button to connect. When asked to disconnect, select Yes and press D to enter. Next, scroll to Test System. Select D to confirm Select to System. Once connected, use the menu to navigate to the Site Survey Mode screen. You can see the metric of signal strengths under the Site Survey Mode. The number in the first column shows the transceiver identification number. Second number represents the Receive Signal Strength Indicator. Third set of numbers reveals the percentage of packet loss errors. And the last number is the link quality, which is a combined quality metric ranging from 1, being poor, to 5, which is the highest quality attainable. With the belt pack showing the connection info screen, stand next to the transceiver and walk away to find the edge of the coverage zone. You're at the edge of the coverage zone once the belt pack readings get to an RSSI of 25 and more than 1% error rate when standing still you should look to place another antenna in that location. Repeat the steps of moving antennas around and taking measurements. Make sure that any studio doors are tested both open and closed. Mark your readings onto a site plan of the facility. How do you make sure antennas are placed at the right positions? Antennas should be as far apart as possible from any UHF analog, existing decked phone or wireless LAN system within the coverage area. Place the antenna at a reasonable height, about 6 to 8 feet high from the ground, and keeping it at least 2 feet below the ceiling and away from corners and walls. Be aware of the architectural interferences or moving scenery and stages. Try to place the antenna at the junction of corridors. If placing multiple antennas in the same area, try to keep them at least 3 feet apart. Make sure antennas are below any lighting grids and away from large screen television monitors. These emit EMF. Now, you're ready for the actual installation. See you in video 4. ROM will take you through how to install FreeSpeak 2.